Many observers of China's escalating global program of foreign investment and infrastructure development are crossing their fingers and hoping for the best. In an ideal world, China's unbridled ambitions will improve economic growth, food security and social development in many poor nations, as well as enriching itself. Such hopes are certainly timely, given the isolationism of the U.S. Trump administration, which has created an international leadership vacuum that China is eager to fill. But a close look reveals that China's international agenda is far more exploitative than many realize, especially for the global environment. And the Chinese leadership's claims to be embracing green development are in many cases more propaganda than fact. Read more, China will need to be more transparent to achieve its development goals. To help steer through the maze, I provide here a snapshot of China's present environmental impacts. Are China's assertions reasoned and defensible, or something else altogether? Predatory force, for a start, China is overwhelmingly the world's biggest consumer of illegally poached wildlife and wildlife products. From rhino horn, to pangolins, to shark fins, to a menagerie of wild bird species, Chinese consumption drives much of the global trade in wildlife exploitation and smuggling. Over the past 15 years, China's rapacious appetite for ivory has largely driven a global collapse of elephant populations. In response to growing international criticism, China promised to shut down its domestic ivory trade by the end of 2017. But even before China's ban has taken full force, A black market for ivory is developing in neighboring Laos. There, Chinese entrepreneurs are churning out great quantities of carved ivory products, specifically designed for Chinese tastes and openly sold to Chinese visitors. China is also the world's biggest importer of illegal timber, a trade that imperils forests while defrauding developing nations of billions of dollars each year in timber royalties. China claims to be working to reduce its illegal timber imports but its efforts are half-hearted at best, judging by the amount of illegal timber still flowing across its border with Myanmar. Infrastructure Tsunami More damaging still are China's plans for infrastructure expansion that will irreparably degrade much of the natural world. China's One Belt One Road initiative alone will carve massive arrays of new roads, railroads, ports, and extractive industries such as mining, logging, and oil and gas projects into at least 70 nations across Asia, Europe, and Africa. Chinese President 11 Jinping promises that the Belt and Road Initiative will be green, low-carbon, circular and sustainable, but such a claim is profoundly divorced from reality. As my colleagues and I recently argued in Science and Current Biology, The modern infrastructure tsunami that is largely being driven by China will open a Pandora's box of environmental crises, including large-scale deforestation, habitat fragmentation, wildlife poaching, water pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. China's pursuit of natural resources is also escalating across Latin America.